This is Crazy Carl and this is Ruse for Dummies. This is part one of a three part series. This one will deal with game basics. This is a tutorial for uh, anybody who has not played the game and wants to know what is going on out there when you see all my other videos that are sort of a little bit more in depth into the game. So let's get started. Right here what you see is the first building that you start off with which is your headquarters. Um, headquarters give you, gives you the ability to build other buildings. Um, right here on the top left you see that uh, you have your construction and your uh, production queue. Um, you hear, I'm, you're going to see that I'm going to build a supply depot. Um, supply depots are where you get your resources initially from. So buildings and ruses have to be built somewhere near a road so if there's no road you can build it supply depots are even more limited because you can only build them where the supply is which is where those yellow squares are so right here you see that I have a construction truck going from my headquarters to my supply depot um, and once he gets there the construction begins that's important because if my construction truck does not get there uh, if it's killed along the way then I lose that money that I spent trying to build a supply depot um, right here you see that I have supply trucks now going from my depot to my headquarters. That's every time that those trucks get to my headquarters, I get ruse dollars. Um, and those trucks come out just about every 30 seconds from your supply depot going towards your headquarters. So sort of think about a way where you can sort of ex play with economically trapping your opponent by taking away his supply lines. Uh, there's a lot of room for that in this game. Uh, a little bit more about about the ruse sort of uh, layout of the map and the uh, characteristics of the map that you can use to your advantage. We have trees, we have uh, rivers, we have bridges, we have uh, roads. All things that you can use to your advantage. Um, you can use bridges as choke points. You can use uh, roads to travel faster. And you can use woods and towns to set up ambushes. Certain units can go in, in the woods and certain units cannot. So you just have to, to, to learn which units can and cannot and uh, go from there. So here, you, here you see a little bit more about the other types of buildings that you can build. Um, those, the two at the bottom are the defense buildings that are different for every nation. Um, and at the very bottom you see a beacon. The three at the very top are the supply depot, the, uh, the administrative building, and the secondary headquarters. You pretty much build a secondary headquarters in case you are scared that your first headquarters is going to get taken out and you want to be able to uh, build other stuff or uh, use your ruses. Once your headquarters goes away and you don't have a secondary, you can't use ruse cards anymore. So that's something to keep in mind. And uh, administrative buildings is a way for you to build resources sort of mid-game to late game. Uh, they're expensive, so you better use them wisely. Um, here you see I'm building a barracks, again, connected by a road. Um, this, this sort of uh, system allows you to uh, only build in certain parts of the map, otherwise you'd see people building, you know, armor bases in the middle of nowhere, in the middle of the map. So it just kind of gives the game a little bit more structure and kind of limits to what you can and cannot do. Uh, here you see a little bit about the units that I can build in, uh, through the barracks after the barracks is built um, and we'll go into much detail about that because I'll do a part two series uh, on this three part series will be on units themselves. Uh, this one we're focusing more on buildings and uh, sort of the layout of the map. So here you see I'm putting some infantry inside of a town for an ambush. Uh, that's important and it's e e sometimes even more powerful than putting them inside of the uh, woods because uh, you can't see those units unless you pretty much drive over them or fly over them. And if you drive over them, it's too late because you're being ambushed. So really the only way to uh, find uh, troops that are inside of a town is to really fly over them with a, uh, with a uh, air recon. So. So as far as what else you can look at um, in the middle of your screen or in the different corners of your screen, you have at the top left the number of ruse cards you have available as, mu as well as how much money you have. That which you always see me bringing back and forth is a production queue or a production menu, which allows you to basically pick which buildings to build and then once those buildings are built, um, what units to build. Um, at, the, the at the top right you see a uh, clock as well as a scoreboard and uh, that's pretty much the basics of the game so uh, stick through it guys uh, you got a two more parts coming on units and ruse cards this is crazy carl signing out ruse for dummies